Good afternoon, morning, evening, wherever you live. Today we are looking at Elijah Vu. Still missing, still got an amber alert out. Right, but over the past few days we've seen some new, some progress sort of thing. And I don't think he was abducted. That's just my opinion, right? Because if he, I'm sure that someone would have seen him outside. Someone. That road can get quite, quite a few cars up and down here. The side roads around the area. Anyway, I firstly got to correct myself because I did state, because I read it, I can't remember where I read it from, but I stated that the mother and Jesse Vang, Jesse Vang was the mother's boyfriend. No, he wasn't. He wasn't. He was a, an acquaintance. And I believe from what I read today, I can't find that post again. I've seen it on TV and I didn't catch what post it was on. Jesse Vang knew the boy, the husband of Katrina Ball. And both the husband and Jesse used to traffic Katrina out. However, there's a post, and I will show you that post, this post. Well, it's about a friend, he knows her, said apparently this Jessie Vang only come into her life, suddenly come into her life three weeks ago. That's a bit, hmm, how could you have just come into her life three weeks ago when she knew him seven years earlier because her, him and her husband used to traffic her out. So you got to be careful what, you've got to know your facts, you've got to know what people are saying is true or not. And I don't believe that. And then another point is there's a video going about. It is, well it's not fake, but it's got nothing to do with Elijah. That is another little boy that went missing a, a while ago. You can find it on you look it up on YouTube, you'll find that video. Just pump typing missing little boy found and you'll come up with that little, that video. So that is not correct. He has not been found. Anyway. Let's look into this because there's a lot to look into. Oh. We've had, oh, is this the plum? God, just moved it again. Go up there. Uh, this is the Two Rivers Police Department. Now, I didn't come on yesterday at all. I had things to do around home. So I didn't come on. And I missed a few updates. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? So we'll go to the first update I missed. I'm going to share it with you. you you've probably seen this before, before me. Right, so where are we? It's time to find it now. Uh, This is it. No, I found it. I've got so many pages open. Uh, oh, there is it. This is 
No, this isn't the one. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Um, let's have a look. This one. So I've got so many windows open, it's hard to find them. So, this was from a day ago. As I said, I wasn't on yesterday. And a lot of the information comes through once I go to bed. So I go to bed on a Friday and around about 5, 11, 1 o'clock in the morning. That's when the information is coming through. Because that's the time different. Right. This says the 23rd, which was a day ago, I believe. Yeah. Well, wow. two days ago now. This was on the Friday. Right, but it's obviously released once I've gone to bed. Right, we'll read it. Release date, Feb uh, February the 23rd, 2024, 8.05pm, Two Rivers Police Department. In order to keep our community informed, we felt it important to share the following facts. Elijah still has still has not been located. We are continuing to work day and night in our search effort, which includes, but are not limited, to officers following up on all tips and leads, searches of our rivers, drones in the area, teams of officers and agents out on foot, and continued search of the landfill. We, all, we will also have Wings of Hope and North Star Rescue during our search efforts tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So that would have been Saturday. That'd be joy. We are aware of numerous citizens also out searching. We appreciate everyone's joint concern and dedication in locating Elijah. We would like to remind people to respect others private property and for citizens to know that our law enforcement team will be in uniform and will have proper law enforcement agency identification. This includes local, state and federal law enforcement. Although you may see our biggest presence in the city of Two Rivers where Elijah was reported missing, know that our, investi our investigation also extends into neighbouring communities as well as the largest city of residents in Wisconsin Dells. We continue to explore all avenues and possibilities in our efforts to locate. Elijah, Katrina Barr and Jesse Vang both had bail he hearings today, but we went over that on Friday. That was what life was about. Barr is being held on a 15,000 cash bail and Frank is being held on a 20,000 cash bail. If bail is posted, they are not to have any contact with each other or children under the age of 18. We again extend our gratitude to all of the agencies, citizens and businesses for your continued assistance and support in our search for Elijah. Thank you also for the generous food donations that have kept our staff going strong. We have taken numerous requests to donate in a very variety of ways. At this time, we generally appreciate everything, but we ask that you contact our police department's business number 920-793-1191 to schedule food donations to prevent waste. Yeah, I can understand that. Uh, you don't want Someone from, no, I don't know, some pizza hut place coming over and delivering you food. There's someone else coming over from somewhere else. It's going to be too much. So schedule it. You know what I mean? That sounds good. We currently don't have a counter up to accept monetary donations, but are working diligently to do so. Beware of scams seeking your money or personal information. 
The two rivers police departments will be your source for factual information and we will continue to update the community as we are able and as timely as we can. Locating Eliza remains our top priority. Chief Bank Mangart, Two Rivers Police Department. Right. Well, I know they're um, doing searches. Right, I'll get off this one. Anyway, oh god, there am I back here. So that was the first update I missed that came out on Friday. But as I said, with the time difference, I'm normally in bed when all these come out, and I can't stay up. I really can't. I stay up as late as I can. Anyway. The next one was 19 hours ago, which was yesterday. Release date the 24th. Was it the thing if I got to go to go? Yeah, yesterday. Um, to continue keeping our community informed, we felt it important to share the following facts. Elijah has not been located. We are aware of at least one fake video circulating social media that shows the recovery of a minor by officers. Now, as I said, I saw that video when it was first released, and that was a while ago. Maybe a year or more ago, I'm sure. Right? It is not Elijah. Again, beware of scams seeking your money and personal information. But also those now looking to take advantage of this unfortunate incident. The two of this department is your source for facts regarding this case and we will continue to update the community as we are able and timely as we can. Which I agree. There is, you will get people on youtube on twitter on facebook on tiktok you name it coming out with these stupid stories stupid fake videos for clickbait for clickbait because the more clicks they get the, the more it gets put out there on Facebook, on YouTube, on TikTok, you name it, right? And it's disgusting. I, I, I hate anyone who does that. That's why I, I always go to this page first. When I log on in the morning, I go to Two Rivers Police Department Facebook page to see what the updates are. Right? We are aware of numerous coordinated citizen search efforts all over Manitoba County. Thank you for those continued efforts. Please continue to respect every private property and be cautious when conducting those searches, as your safety is important. We appreciate everyone's joint concern and dedication in locating Elijah. We continue to work day and night following up on all ticks and leads. Thank you to Two River School District for allowing us to utilise McGee Elementary School to accommodate our expanding operational needs. No students or incidents at that school are under investigation, nor are any others endangered. Meaning, if a parent saw police outside, don't panic. It's not to do the school. With the assistance of Wings of Hope and North Star, advanced searches of our rivers and our other waters are underway. With a variety of boats, boats, drones and dogs in the areas. 
You may also see extensive teams of officers engaging out on foot, speaking with people door to door. Continue to contact our police department's business number. I'll say it again. 920-793-1191 with any food donation request. We have a account set up to accept monetary donations beginning during normal business hours on Monday to those wishing to donate to the search effort or towards a reward. More information on how to donate those efforts will be given on Monday. Now that's new to me. I've never heard a police department setting up a monetary so you, like you can donate. Never heard of that before. Please call our tip line 844-267-6648 or submit information via our Crime Stoppers app P3 with any information you think could be helpful. Call us with information leading to the location of Elijah or arrest of persons involved in or responsible for his disappearance could become eligible to receive a reward of up to oh, I don't know that. Right. One, 100,000 I don't know, through Manitoba County Crime Stoppers. Locating Elijah and reuniting him with his family continues to be our top priority. Right? However, that wasn't the only one they put out that day. They then put this one out. So that was 20 hours ago. Then literally eight hours later, they put this one out. Release date February 24, 2024, 8.35pm. Update 2. And that was 1.15pm. In order to maximise the resources offered to us, law enforcement will continue our search efforts on land and water throughout the night. One. Now, one is very, very hard to look in the night, so you need the big lights. And to be honest with you, I can only imagine them looking through the water at night if they'd had a tip off. If there'd been a, a like a reliable, a reliable tip. So that's all the updates from the Two Rivers Police Department. So then, hold on. I've got a few videos. But once again, they're not telling us much. We seem to find out before it's actually put out there, unless you're not online for a day, like I wasn't. Right? So, um, right, this was five hours ago, one day ago, 16 hours ago. Right. We'll have a look at the 16 hours. This is one. This is what about the trial. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. The Two Rivers Police Department provided another update on the search for three-year-old Elijah Boo, saying they are expanding the search tomorrow with the help of two more groups. And the police department saying that Wings of Hope, which provides medical evacuation flights, and North Star Rescue, which uses CAV teams, are joining efforts tomorrow. Searchers are also extending into the neighboring communities of Two Rivers, as well as Wisconsin Dells, where Elijah resides. Here is his photo. Elijah's three feet tall, weighs 45 pounds, has brown hair and brown eyes. He also has a birthmark on his left knee. He was last seen wearing gray pants, red and green dinosaur slippers, and he could be carrying a red, white, and black plaid blanket. The boy's mother and a co-defendant appeared in Manitowoc County Court this afternoon. Katrina Bauer's bond was set at $15,000 cash. Jesse Vang received a $20,000 cash bond. The judge signed and sealed the probable causes yesterday. Today. Brittany Schmidt was in court for those hearings. She joins us now live with the first alert update for us. Brittany. 
Bill and Cammy, there are more questions than answers when it comes to Elijah's disappearance. The victim's family believes those answers as to what happened to Elijah or wh where he might be lie with the boy's mother, Katrina Bauer and Jesse Vang. A warning, the details we're about to sh share with you could be hard to hear. Complaint. Elijah Vu's mom, Katrina Bauer, looking down at her hands during the start of her bail hearing, facing a charge of party to a crime, child neglect. Police arrested her early Wednesday morning, less than 24 hours after her son went missing. On Friday, the Manitowoc County District Attorney revealed why she was arrested. She says Bauer, who lives in Wisconsin Dells, intentionally sent her three-year-old to Jesse Vang's apartment in Two Rivers, to be disciplined for more than a week. She was aware of the tactics used and the lack of care provided. Uh, this was an intentional thing by her. The tactics allegedly carried out by Bang. According to the DA, he is facing a charge of child neglect. He was the actor that was here in the community um, dealing with the victim and utilizing the discipline and the tactics as well as the lack of care. Vang's apartment in Two Rivers is where Elijah was reported missing. Vang has a long criminal history, spending several years in prison for past charges of child abuse and drugs. He's also currently on federal supervision. Earlier this week, investigators focused in on his apartment, collecting evidence, while the DA says Elijah's mom misled police twice. She has been provided false information on her whereabouts during the past week. So there is a concern of providing false information to officers. So there is um, additional charges of obstructing that will be coming. Neither Vang nor Bauer have been officially charged in this case. Each have been given a cash bond while the search for Elijah continues. And that, of course, brings that uh, courts um, feelings, emotions, and heartstrings for the care of the child, but it doesn't change the nature of the charges from any other neglect case. And I think we have to keep that in mind, too, that that's what we have right now. In court, Elijah's aunt believes Bauer and Vang have the answers. They are the last two to have seen our baby Elijah, and at this moment are the current suspects. So until we find the truth as to the whereabouts of Elijah, we would like to make sure that these two are readily available for questioning. As of last check, both Bauer and Bang remain here behind closed, behind bars in the Manitowoc County Jail. If they do make bail, they cannot have any contact with each other or anyone under the age of 18. They are expected back in court on Monday. Reporting live in Manitowoc, Brittany Schmidt, Action 2 News. What said? Oh, God, this thing again. Right. So they're both being given bail. Now, what I understand is in that county or that state, whatever it is, they, they do the bail first before they actually press any charges, right? So that's why they've not actually been charged with anything. They are looking at being charged, but they haven't been charged. However, that bit about where the mother would send her little boy to this vile person's vile person. All right. I'm going to try and get the photo. I've got a photo of them both together. I did say I would never put a photo up of them, but I will. I'll try and find it for you. Um, where is he? No, I can never find him when I'm using.
I had a picture of a bird. Here, knew it. I knew it. Oh, it's not letting me open it. Right. Okay, so I'll do it this way. I can't think of it. It won't let me upload the picture. Anyway, that's a good thing because I said I would never put his picture on any of my lives. Only on the um, thumbnail. Right, now the mother was said to send her little boy now, this makes a reason as to where, as I, as I kept saying, I couldn't understand where, how they couldn't un I understand how you could miss a three-year-old for three hours. Not possible. Not possible. Right? Well, the mother used to send her little boy, Elijah, to that vile person's house to for discipline her mother would send this gorgeous little boy to that vile monster's house for discipline who does that who does that if you cannot discipline your own child then there's something seriously wrong and why would you send him to the go like that it's like I, i've been looking up that tattoo on his neck and i think it says 920 but it looks like it's written in like a barbed wire sort of design right you know 920 is a blood gang which is known in two rivers so it's part of a gang and this gang is known for, I believe, uh, drug, G R U G S, uh, trafficking, and, and to become a member of this gang, I read it. I read it on another YouTube. This you have to go through a process, right? They may have to be beaten big time. Beaten. Right? And the women, the, right? It said SEX, but I don't think it meant that. I think it meant R A P E D. Because it wouldn't just be the one guy, it'd be several of the guys in that group. You know what I mean? So it would be a gang R-I-P-E-D. To that thing, their initial, initial, initiation into the group. Fair plan. Anyway, so. We've got that, right? And then I'll go and let's see what I was on there. That was 16 hours ago, and one day ago. This is the latest I can find, I believe. Now, they are looking for three-year-old Elijah Boo. Here is his picture. He is 45 pounds, brown hair, and brown eyes. He has a birthmark on his left knee. He was last seen in Two Rivers on Tuesday morning. In the 3900 block of Mishicot Road in the city, there was a large police presence in the woods just behind the St. John's Evangelical Lutheran Church. That's where we find our Brittany Schmidt live right now. Brittany, what can you tell us? Jason, really within the last 15 minutes, police packed up and they headed back into town toward the neighborhood. But around four o'clock, police are showing up here. The presence seems to grow by the minute here. Uh, they were really combing the woods area behind here. And it's it's a large wooded area that's almost directly behind the apartment where Elijah is said to have disappeared. So really close to that apartment, officials immediately blocked off the entrance to the church. 
We also saw a drone fly overhead in these search efforts. You can see local, state, federal officials line up along the road here on 45th Street and go almost hand in hand into the ditch area searching for Elijah. Eyes clearly focused on the ground, scanning the area for anything that could help them find the little boy still missing. Several others entered the back half of the woods behind the church to start their search. You can see from the map we just showed you, it's a large wooded area. Earlier today, though, we saw agents going door to door, talking to neighbors in the neighborhood as well. We do know civilian search groups gathered today, searching along the lake shore. Police did post an update on Facebook this afternoon to address a fake video circulating. Again, that is a fake video. They want to remind people to not spread false information. They are also asking people to be respectful of other people's properties and continue to check their own areas for Elijah. That should include any door. But I did say when the police did that first and only public interview, press interview, and then they decided to do all press releases through the page, right? I said, because they're not giving any information out, you will have people coming along and making up their own. You know what I mean? And that is not good because it only hurts the family. It doesn't help the case. But the police, by not giving any information out, not even little tidbits, nothing. That's why, like, on Friday when the judge said, well, I don't understand why the cameras are here, but they're here. It's not going to be very interesting. I don't know what they're going to find out from this. Found out plenty. We found out that the mother was sending her child to this girl's house. Now, this is a guy who her uh, husband, who is in prison, knew or knows, who used, who used to, with her husband, traffic her out, right, herself out. Right. Seven years ago, that was. So, that's why. Doorbell cameras and security footage. If you have any information about where Elijah might be, you can contact and call the tip line there that you see on your screen. You can also contact Crime Stoppers, anyone who has information that leads to the whereabouts of Elijah or a suspect or an arrest in this in his disappearance, you may be eligible for a cash reward. Live in Two Rivers, Brittany Schmidt, Action 2 News. Brittany, thanks. Elijah's mom, Katrina Bauer, and a co-defendant both remain in the Manitowoc County Jail facing charges of child neglect. Katrina Bauer's bond was set at $15,000 cash. Jesse Vain received a $20,000 cash bond. The Manitowoc County District Attorney says Bauer sent Elijah to stay with Vain for a week for disciplinary reasons. The victim's family believes Bauer and Vain know what happened. The search continues. Here is his picture. Another time, three-year-old Elijah Vu, again, last seen in Two Rivers on Sunday morning. Call the number on your screen if you do have any information to pass along. The search continues for three-year-old. Right. But I also heard as well that like, the first day he went missing, there was loads out there in the community out there looking. Then the next day, the numbers were dwindling. Not so many people was going out looking. And then I heard that, uh, I think it's the, this is the one, where... It is now day five in the search for the missing Elijah Vu. I'm your Lakeshore neighborhood reporter, Preston Stover, and I live in this community. I can say that the searches and the rescues have persisted for the last few days. But today, one search happened here at at the Mikado Theater in Manitowoc, and this search was organized by family. We just want to know that he's safe. This is Elijah's uncle, Orson Vu. When I'm out there, every step I'm taking, it's just potentially closer to finding him. He says the family found out on Facebook, like the rest of us, and they have been searching as much as possible since Elijah went missing on Tuesday. There were 
a ton of people everywhere and we were blown away. It was unbelievable how much support the community gave us and were willing to help with the search. During the search party meeting at the theater, the family spoke. Orson said there's one clear message amongst them. Keep pushing forward. Keep, uh, you know, keep trying, really. Just don't give up. And Orson says his whole family has become a true team. When stuff you know, like this happens, we all drop everything and come together. And it's um, it's truly a uh, an eye-opening thing. On Saturday, the search gathered maps and took a more organized approach. The search has been long and hard for many involved. But Orson... He feels empowered to keep going. It's um, it's hard. There's times where it's just like, I need to take a break, you know, but the community, you know, out here online, everywhere, they're just, they're so supportive. And that makes you want to just go the extra mile and just go even further. There's another search scheduled for Sunday morning at 915. Once again, here at Mikado Theater in Manitowoc, Preston Stover, NBC 26. Right. So, and then all of a sudden they do this, the family put the call out and the people are out there again, which is good. I'm down, I'm going to have to stop this because it's going to... All right, we... That's just the court case again, which we saw on Friday. Actually, I think I might do it again. No, no, I won't. I won't. I won't bore you all again with that. But it wasn't boring. It was interesting because that's the first decent piece of information we've been, anyone has found out. You know what I mean? It's like the police aren't even telling, telling anyone if they're, looking for uh, if they're there for retrieval you know what i mean by by the signs of the searches that they are doing i'm sorry to say this is not looking good and it's looking like it's to bring the boy home if you know what i mean it's not looking good oh and there's something up here i want to say yeah this is it Right. Now this was on a Facebook page. I think it's something to do with Eliza V. Right. Right, here we go. No. Right. Well, I can't zoom in yet because if I do it, I'll take the top piece off. So I'll read it out to you. Elijah Vu, 2-24-24. And the set, 2-16-24, photo of Elijah and Jesse allegedly at a car shop. We cannot confirm this was 100% then even though it was confirmed by shop owner. Now, I've not been able to get that photo. But it does look, I've seen it, and it does look like Vang and little Elijah. And Elijah looks scared. Anyway, 2.20.24. Jesse alleged, allegedly took his older child to school, came home, last saw Elijah at 8am and took a nap by, and by 11 when he woke up, Elijah was gone and Jesse reported him missing. Now, this is some, uh, totally different, right? I heard, this is what I've heard, that the mother took the little boy there in the morning and that's why the last time she saw him was at 8am. So she took him there for to be disciplined. She then left with a friend or whoever and went back to, uh, where was it, Wisconsin, Downs, Downs, right where she lives. 
then come back three hours later and found that Elijah was not there. And that's when she reported him missing. Right? Now I'll see if I can go into explaining it, yeah. 2 20, Items were found that resembled Elijah's. We cannot confirm if they are his 100%. Well, now, that's something else that's cropped up. That shoe was found on the evening. Right? And it was just round the corner, in like a bush thing, of the block where he was last seen, just round the, cor round the corner. Now, during the day, there was people all around there. Why didn't no one else find that shoe? And the blanket, uh, another item of his, another item was found by the bins, which was the other side of the building. So not the blanket, something else. Something else was found on the other side of the building. Why would they leave a shoe one side and something else the other side? It doesn't make sense. Right, let's zoom in a bit more. 2 Jesse Vang, Elijah caretaker, who was supposed to be looking after him, not, was taken into custody at 11.48 p.m. 2 Katrina Boya, Elijah's mother was taken into custody at 3.48 p.m. 2.22.24, landfill search started. So, had one of them, had she said anything, the mother? Or was it just been, well, we'll search the landfill? Second, 23rd of the second, 24, Katrina was charged with party to child neglect, neglect and a bail was set at 15,000. And Jess was charged with child neglect and his bail was set at 20,000. Now, I wonder how he's a, uh, a blood member of a, of a gang. How will they react to a him being abusive to a child in prison. Will it be, oh, well, that's okay, man, you're one of us, that's fine. Will it, you can get the hell out of here. Right? We also know Katrina has lied about her locations. We do not know which location, but the judge did say Katrina was not present when Elijah went missing. Right? We know that Jimmy Vu is Elijah father who has been incarcerated before Elijah went missing. We know that Katrina sent Elijah to Jesse's home for disciplinary reasons. Hmm. We know Elijah's family is asking anyone and everyone to keep searching on foot for Elijah. There's a group discussion and meeting place at Mikado Movie Theatre on Monitor morning at 9am. Right, that was on a page. And while we're here, we'll have to have a look at what else we can do. See, now that's, that's where the pump was found on the night time, just around the corner. I think it was staged, and I don't think it was put there. It'd be hard to say when it could be put there because people was all around that house on that day, but no one found that until on the evening. All right. See, there's the door. That's where the shoe was found. And that's where the trash was, where other items of whatever were found. found.
it looks a bit staged to me. I was just sitting there. I read what it says. Oh. Oh. Okay. I don't know. It's... I don't know why it wasn't found sooner in the game. It'd be interesting to know everyone's thoughts. Was it planted? Or was it just knowing it, just seeing it then? I don't know. But here's an interesting fact. We're going to read through it in a minute. Hold on. Give me a second. There's some interesting facts about that shoe. I'll tell you something. The best place is to find information out about a missing child. It's Facebook. It really is. Well, best information to find out about a certain person. Facebook. Right. It's, an, uh, it's posted by an anonymous participant. The shoe was planted. The canine and a group of people didn't find it during the day. Someone planted it after dark. The location in which it was found was around a corner that would have been found blind to where the officers were standing. I was searching there that day. It was too clean. The canine never picked up on the scent because it was never Elijah's shoe. Just one that matched the description. The orientation of the shoe is facing as if Elijah was walking back inside towards the door, not running off by himself. The shoes aren't even available in the physical Manitoba store, only online, meaning like they were either likely shipped unless otherwise, unless any other store in this town carries them. Jesse waited until the package arrived and the garbage went through to collect the recycled box and other things at 11 a.m. before making the call. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know that. I think that might be a bit of a stretch. Let's say. The, the true story is the the simplest story you can think of. Right? If Elijah escaped while Jesse was asleep, how did Jesse know that Elijah was wearing these shoes? These shoes are too clean to be his regular go-to shoes. True Rivers Police Department should check to see if any packages were delivered to that address that day or week, and if they all get contained a pair of shoes. Interesting that the canine dogs didn't pick up on the scent. No. Right, this is where, this is another one about the family. Don't give up. Elijah Foo's family continues to search for three-year-olds. The family are not giving up. Right. Now, look. This video. Right. If I can get it. This is not Elijah. Oh, 
Right? I remember that so clear. The little boy had warmed the dog with the dog and got lost. Right? And that dog stayed with that little boy all the way through it. So that's how I know it's not a true story. Not true. Right? So. That is a, a year, two years old, I believe. This is not Elijah. They look like him. Look at that face to, to that. It's not Elijah. And I believe that boy was older than three as well. Right. So if you see that video going around... Report it. It's not Elijah. All right. Well, read this, right? Missing Persons Awareness Network, NFP. Active Amber Alert for Elijah Vu. For anyone coming in or watching on replay, this is Elijah Vu. Now, I was scrolling through my Twitter account earlier, and I'm surprised how many posts I've got up about this little boy. So, if you've been on my page, you'll see this is Elijah Vu. Beautiful little boy. Look at him. Three-year-old Elijah Vu was last seen about 8 a.m. at a home in a 390 block on Michigan Road in Two Rivers, Wisconsin, on February the 20th. Elijah is described as three foot in height and 50 pounds in weight, with sandy coloured hair and brown eyes. He is believed to be wearing grey sweatpants, a long sleeve shirt, dark shirt, Sweatpants, a long sleeve, dark coloured shirt, red and green dinosaur, slip on shoes, and has a birthmark on his left knee. Elijah may be carrying his red, white, and plaid blanket as shown in one of those photos. That photo. A child abduction alert was issued. In Manitoba County, Wisconsin, and is still missing. There are no family members or associates in this area. No, the mother didn't live in that area. You know what I mean? She took her son to uh, someone she knew for discipline, and she will take him there and leave him there for up to a week. So, how do we know? He hadn't been there since the 16th because there's reports of him being seen with that Jesse, Jesse Vang, and the little boy was seen on the 16th. And then on the 20th, he's reported missing. So I don't think he was took there on the 20th. I think he was took there before. For, dip for discipline reasons. Right. Authorities are asking neighbours to check out buildings, vehicles or other concealed areas on their property. Anyone with a doorbell camera is also asked to check to see if Elijah shows up on the video. Police have reported that Elijah's primary residence in, was in Wisconsin Dallas. Right, I was right. And multiple areas are being searched. Katrina Ball and Jesse Van both, I believe, have information on Elijah, Elijah's disappearance. Yes, I believe they do. I believe she knows where he is. She wasn't there when it happened, but I believe she knows where he is now. 
But he's been held on 15,000 cash bail and found he's been held in 20,000 cash bail. Court report shows, report shows that Boa left her child with Frank in two rivers for a week for disciplinary reasons. The state said that Boa, who lives in Wisconsin Downs, provided false information to police about her whereabouts. She intentionally sent that child for disciplinary reasons for more than a week to the residence. She was aware of the tactics used and the lack of care provided. This was an intentional thing by her. And on at least two occasions during the interview, she has provided false information on her whereabouts during the past week. She is vile. Vile. Now, I'm going to pull up Google Maps and we're going to look at some of these places that he's been mentioning. I always pull up Google Maps. I love Google Maps. But I want to go through some of these. Right? Now, listen to this. Bear in mind, I told you, I mentioned earlier, that Jesse Bank and Jimmy Vu knew each other. So the father, uh, Katrina Boyer's boy, husband, knew Jesse Vang. Uh, yeah, Jesse Vang. And seven years ago, they put her out for traffic Right? It tells you here, just listen to this. Just so everyone knows, Jesse is a criminal. Never. Didn't know that. He mysteriously came into her life three weeks ago and wanted to be a father figure to Elijah. Hmm, okay. I have been talking to my sister every day for a year. So it's your sister. Oh, so you're going to stick up for your sister. Okay. He gave her a car and really got her to believe he wanted to be there for Elijah. That's quick. Three weeks. He gives, gives her a car. I have all the texts from King in the last month. She never once said that she wanted him to discipline Elijah. She wanted him to be a positive male role model. Jimmy is in prison for trying to kill Trina and Elena. Jimmy and Jess, right? So it just shows they know each other. Jimmy and Jesse sold Trina into sex trafficking seven years ago. These are not good people. But apparently, he mysteriously came into her life three weeks ago. But seven years ago, Jimmy, her husband, and Jesse sold Trina into a sex trafficking. Right? Wake up, people. I have hundreds of videos of Trina and Elijah from the past year. They were inseparable. She looked that kid. I have no idea how this guy can visit her that kid. Oh, let's see if I can get this up. No. She looked that kid. I have no idea how this guy can visit her that he, was, that he should watch her son. Trina needs to stop trusting the police. Because they're twisting everything. How dare they? They're trying their best. They are out there. Are you out there looking, Jordan? Have you got off your backside and gone out there looking? Because I know if I was over there, I'd be out there every flipping guy looking. Have you done it? Have you got off your backside and gone out there looking for your nephew? Just put a post up when you have. I might even put a comment upon it when I go back onto it later. I will be out there, but I live in the UK. So it's physically impossible for me to be out there looking. So to sit there and say that he mysteriously came into her life three weeks ago, but seven years earlier, himself and your husband sold her off to a trafficking gang.
Makes a lot of, doesn't it? Makes a lot of sense, that just makes. And to be honest with you, if you're sold to trafficking kind of gang, it's very hard to get out of them. Very, very hard. You know what I mean? You can't just walk away from that. Because that... They've just paid a big money to those people for her. So now she's got to earn that money back again. It's not easy to get out of a trafficking gang. It's not. And the chances of survival are very, very low as well because they keep you drugged up. So I think you need to get your facts straight, Jordan. Because this does not make sense. Right. Oh, actually, I could give put a comment now. Let's see what people are putting. Let's see what the comments are. Right. Let's see. Oh, God. No, I'm not sharing. Put the wrong one. No, I'm not sharing. 268 comments. Let's see what comments are. Right. One pull. He mysteriously walks into her life, but was in her life seven years ago. That's an oxymoron. Yeah. Doesn't make sense. Make it make sense. Come on, Georgia. Make it make sense. And the other friend said Jesse was selling her to hunger, not giving. They also state that Jimmy and Jesse were partners in the dealings. That she's got nails, got nails, nails with. Um, they also state that Jim and Jesse were partners in the dealing that Jesse got nailed with. So if Elijah is Jimmy's son and, to, and son, and clearly Katrina and Jimmy live together, you see Jesse being his runner. Yep. Both kids sound, sounded like they were in foster care up until recently, but as several videos, they were inseparable. What? These one, these one of them at least tried to kill her, but you allowed the child to go alone with the other that soldier? Yeah. One of those two, out of her husband or him, tried to kill her. But you give your son to the one of the guys that tried to kill you. Hmm. Neighbor stated she hadn't seen Elijah in over a month. People stated she's going to methadone clinic daily, daily, which means it hasn't been long since the, she quit meth. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Because over here in the UK, they, they did a documentary and they had this guy, and he was a lovely guy, really lovely guy. He wasn't working, right? He's living hand to hand, you know what I mean, sort of thing. And he was with his partner, but he'd been on the methadone, going to this methadone clinic for 18 years. Because once I got you on methadone, I think, well, we've got you off the house, stuff. we've got you on methadone. Government gets paid so much each year for each one of you. All the chemists get paid so much each year, each week or each month or each year for every client they have on their books. So they're not going to rush to get you off the meth again. Right? The cyber post was somewhere like November. So she's not going to be inseparable from this kid. So it wouldn't be with her. This sounds like someone who might be a friend and elaborate, elaborate a lot to try and make her look better. I get like defending a friend, but you don't stretch it. Facts don't do that. We can say friends. It's her sister. You know what I mean? I think he has been elaborating. But then again, you don't know what she's been telling him.
One, I would not be shocked to learn sex trafficking was occurring here. This world is a disgusting place. If this is true, then Elijah could have been sold. Do not trust anyone with your children. Exactly. Exactly. Another one. Okay, but Jimmy and Jesse both sold during trafficking mm. seven years ago. Why did she think Jesse would be a good role model for a lot of boys? Unless she didn't know he was in, it, in on it also. Doesn't add up. Hmm. Yeah. Three weeks ago, they was commenting on each other's social media platform for a few months. <laughs> Caught you there. Maybe a little too, little too much Lifetime movie, but let's say it's true. Jimmy or Jesse are acquaintances. Jimmy has Jesse. Has Jesse convinced Katrina? All right. Jimmy has Jesse convinced Katrina to help him with Elijah. Jimmy has filed papers for some type of appeal two weeks ago. Elijah is now missing. I don't know. The father's still in prison, so they're not going to hold on. They'd at least wait until the father got out of prison, I think. You know what I mean? Think about it, you, you all. Now, yeah. baby daddy is locked up. Katrina is a single mother. Mum, she's been through hell. Someone comes along, wants it to be part of their lives. It just so happens that this someone is the friend and old cousin of the man who abused Katrina. Maybe, just maybe, Katrina was fooled in taking advantage of. Maybe she thought he really wanted to help. Maybe they used that child to get back at her. Hmm. All I would say to this guy here, right, he says he has texts and what thing. Shows the tick, shows the receipts, as I say on YouTube. We want receipts. We want receipts of these text conversations. Because we don't believe a word you're saying. We think you're exaggerating. You picked up on something and you're twisting it just to get your five minutes of fame. No, don't make sense. Make it make sense, it doesn't. Yeah, six weeks ago, she commented on his profile picture. Let's have a look. Right? That's Jesse. Fang. But he's, uh, he actually goes into Jesse Cook. It's Jesse Van. Hong Kong Mo, nice picture. Anthony Bragan, no dope sweater. No, where's hers? Mm, didn't say her name, no. Didn't say hers. Where? Where's her name on there? Yeah, no, I can't see her name. Unless she's in your... Uh, a rotten name, you know what I mean? A Sugar name. Um, so, that people, someone, please m message me. Make all this, what he's saying, make sense. And Jordan, if you've got the proof, then show the receipt. Because nothing is making sense. Now this is about, apparently, a woman said, Tina Anderson. She goes, I'm in a group that Kat is in for parent, parents of autistic kids. She has posted in there several times about how violent her daughter has been with her and Elijah. Wife the daughter hurt Elijah, and this is a cover-up for her. I've attached 
screenshots of the post. See, she's submitting receipts. No. I need to have my four-year-old daughter's killing foster care to do a father be by When I left, I lost my home and my and they took my children. I have two, but my four-year-old is autistic. When she's angry, she has a violent episode. Right. Yeah, I don't believe that. I wouldn't say it was a daughter. Because I've heard her, every time you're all in foster care. You yeah, had this little boy went missing. Anything, I'd say, from the 16th upward onwards. Right, now the facts are coming out. I can understand why they are looking back eight days. And why that one post said he'd been missing for like eight or nine days beforehand. Because the last time he was seen was on the 16th. Right. <sighs> right, now this is an interesting one to read. Right? This one. Right? It says I'm just making sure it's this on there yet. I know Katrina Ball and I do have the means to bail her out. Right? I have stuck up for her for her as well as well as my fiance Leslie Ann Runnels. But I'm not gonna say this. I fully agree I, but I'm but I'm gonna say this. I fully agree with what Linda Fu said. My concentration is still on the guy, Jesse, but she can sit in her effing, it should be, she can sit on her effing butt there too. I'm highly upset and think this, his B-R-L-S, missing out a letter, should be nailed through her. She knows more than she says too. I will not bail this thing out. Katrina Ball, Jesse Bang, count yourself lucky I'm not the judge, jury, and executioner. See, now this is a friend who could bail her out, but won't. Will not bail her out. Right. Now, this was the other night, nine hours ago. Almost all roads are blocked up in Shoto. Seems like they are focusing hardcore on the river by the conversation, con conversation, conservation club. Lots of spotlight on and along the river. I think that is where we're going to find him. Right, we're just going to re watch this because it was released two hours ago. Right, oh God. Right, let's go. You will see here a picture of him with the little boy. I don't know that sound. Come on. This is annoying. Tuesday morning by his mother's friend. A man Let's go back. Well, Two Rivers, Wisconsin hit the headlines this week after a three-year-old boy disappeared. His name, Elijah View. 
a three-year-old who was apparently last seen around 8 a.m. on Tuesday morning by his mother's friend, a man named Jesse Vang, after she'd left the boy with him at the address at 3900 Mishacott Road. She left him with the purposes of disciplinary actions. This was for more than a week at the man's residence. The mother was aware of the tactics that this man, Jesse, used for discipline and the lack of care that he provided to Elijah. Yet she left Elijah with Jesse for over a week. Jesse was apparently known for his direct hands-on involvement and his disciplinary methods that he would use with children. While Jesse Vang's relationship to Katrina Bois is still unclear, but the district attorney said on Friday that the mum had left her son with him for these disciplinary actions. Jesse apparently realised that Elijah was missing. He waited, though, for some time, some three hours before he called 911 after the boy vanished. Police released an Amber Alert in the area as part of the ongoing investigation. Now, Elijah was born to his mother, Katrina Barr, and his father, Jimmy View. His father is currently locked up for child neglect charges, domestic violence charges, with suffocation and strangulation. The details surrounding Jimmy's incarceration only shroud the case in further mystery, adding layers of intrigue to the already distressing situation that has befallen on the View family. It's unknown if these are related to Elijah or his what? sister. Now, Elijah is described as having dark blonde hair, weighing around 50 pounds with brown eyes, and he was last seen wearing grey pants, a long sleeve dark shirt, red and green dinosaur shoes, and he was possibly carrying a red and white blanket. Elijah also has a birthmark on his knee. After police initially came out to the property and took a report, a search was conducted around the surrounding areas. Investigators managed to collect a small slip-on shoe with a dinosaur on it from the ground just around the side of the apartment building. The shoe matched the description of what authorities said Elijah was last seen wearing. Now, the building where he was staying is located on a main road. It also has a graveyard on the opposite side, with plenty of areas to wonder and plenty of dangers. When police started questioning the mother, Katrina, regarding why Elijah was staying with Jesse. Now, when I first went on Google, these were the flats I pulled up, the apartment. But those aren't where he is. He became concerned and unhappy with the mother's answers. She not only lied to investigators about her whereabouts in the time leading up to Elijah's disappearance, on two occasions during the interview, police said that she provided false information on her whereabouts during the past week. Now, Jesse Bang, who is 39, the man that was looking after Elijah, was also questioned by police. Jesse Bang was being looked at by authorities as he was the last person to apparently see Elijah and that he was more culpable due to indirect oversight resulting in the neglect of the child leading up to his disappearance. Mr Jesse Vang was the individual who had been entrusted with the care of the child during the alleged night. So he was also arrested on charges of neglect and remains in custody. But the mother's lying to authorities was concerning and things did not fully add up. Elijah is a three-year-old boy. What type of discipline was she looking for? Katrina also has a criminal background. Both individuals were booked into the county jail at approximately 2.48 a.m. on Wednesday. Both were detained on suspicion of child neglect. Police have said won't be releasing any further information about the charges, but confirmed the search remains ongoing. A man named Orson View who is apparently Elijah's uncle, told a news station, we don't want to think about bad stuff that could have possibly happened to him. We are hopeful that he will be found. Search efforts for Elijah continued on Thursday, more than 48 hours since the Amber Alert had been issued and is still ongoing today. Three-year-old is still missing. 
The FBI has said that they are assisting the Two Rivers Police in their investigation and search for the missing boy, but would not say about anything they had found. Not only has the local area been combed through, many searchers, hundreds, have got involved in trying to search for Elijah. Katrina, the mother of the three-year-old, and the man, Jesse Bang, both were scheduled to have their bail hearing today at the Manitowoc County Courthouse and more charges may be added. Authorities have been working tirelessly to search for the boy since the morning he disappeared. They have been searching parks, cemeteries, local wooded areas, and continuing to follow up on every lead possible, with the police asking the public if they can search outbuildings, vehicle sheds, garages, or any concealed areas on their property that might house Elijah currently somewhere he may have gone. Additionally, if residents have surveillance cameras, ring doorbell cameras, or any footage of the surrounding areas around the date that he disappeared on Tuesday, then they're asking for the public's assistance to check them. Every piece of information could be key to bringing Elijah home, they said. The emergency services are hunting for the little boy now in a landfill after the child's shoe was discovered, and agents have been seen at a landfill in Hilbert, around 40 miles from where he was last seen. The FBI and police officers wearing hazmat suits at a way site where a blue tent has been erected and can be seen from the air. They're using heavy machinery, and officers have not yet confirmed if any potential evidence has been found at the landfill. Drones and canines have also been used as part of a probe and an air search from the National Guards was requested by cops. Police, boats and utility tanks, vehicles have also been used. The Twin Rivers Police have, have confirmed that the search remains ongoing. We're exploring all possibilities to locate Elijah, they said. And if anyone has any information to help in this search, you're urged to contact the Two Rivers Police Department tip line on 1-844-267-6648. Today, the mother sat quietly throughout the hearing in an orange jumpsuit, keeping her head bowed most of the time. Her attorney argued that her client received social assistance and could not afford a large bail. The judge ultimately decided on the side of the prosecutor and set the bail at 15,000 to 20,000 for the mother and also for Vang, respectively. So, until we find the truth as to the whereabouts of Elijah, we would like to make sure that these two are readily available for questions. Both the mother. Right. Now, I recognize her voice. Mm. That's crime stories of sex. That's what crime story is obsessed. Anyway, we didn't say that, it says something else. But I know that voice. But that building is not the right building to one further down where we stayed. But she's going on what I was given to 900 Michigan Road, which is that building. All right. Uh, I know that voicing isn't a sad moment, it's why I'm still is obsessed. Right. See, they says that mom and boyfriend in court. 
but apparently he's not her boyfriend. So I wasn't wrong in hearing that. I knew I carried it being said as her boyfriend. It's not her boyfriend. Anyway, come off that. Oh, Mugsy keep doing this to me. Right, well, listen to this. No, we're not listening to that. There's too many. What I said, there's too much of that. No, not doing it. Not watching that. For some reason. Right, so. It's just. I don't know. It's. Why would a mother take? First of all, she knew this guy seven years ago, because that guy knew her husband. This that guy Jesse Vang knew her. Husband, because seven years ago they sold it to a trafficking gang, and like I said, it's not easy to get out of them things. They keep you drugged up, you're paying off a debt. You know what I mean? They moved you from county to county, state to state. That's how I know. Be interesting to know if her husband was part of that same blood group blood gang that Jesse Bang was and I wonder if he likes the fact that his son has gone missing and Jesse Bang is involved it's not easy right what have we got here no we're seeing all that um that's... yeah this is his Face oh god in my head. This is his Facebook page. Yes, it says Jesse Cook. Many Facebook pages he's got different names. Right? Different names on them all. Right? This business here is his sister's and she's selling it. Right, it looks like one of them, um, actually, a hair extensions and nail bar and facials and pedicures. You know what I mean? So she's selling this, and that's what's on his Facebook page, and this is. Oh, wow, well, you go, sis, now. Let's get it straight back. Uh, the 20th of November, 24th. So last year. I don't know if those are his kids or if they're his uh, nieces and nephews. Yeah, it goes, yes. They are. Those are his kids. George and his son. Beautiful. Yeah. You can't see that tattoo very clearly on there. 
Right? You can't see that tattoo very clearly. So I'm wondering if he had that tattoo then. And this is back in August 2023. So it's very hard to see that tattoo. Well, yeah, no, you can see it all the time. You see it all the time. So it's going, it's going on his neck there. And this was June 2023. Mm. I wish I knew what all those tattoos meant, mate. The tattoos tell your life story. Yeah, that's his son again. I'm not going to keep showing pictures of his son. They can't help who's, who their father is. May last year, he was advertising for anyone wanting a pressure washing job. Twenty pounds, twenty twenty dollars an hour. Cash. Right. Wow. In Cali, it would have been fifteen an hour. Me. Got someone. Mate, I'll let you know, just need one or two to see who's interested. Okay. You know what I mean? I can. Now this is his business. Cleaning floors and Polishing and up and all that lot. My first commercial job, cuisine, cuisine sub. So that's the first job he got, and that was in April last year. Uh, only closed location and the bag is MF in Manitoba, it's going to take three days. So it looks like he got a job. Oh, well, that's April. When was that? All uh, right. This was a house job. So that was his first commercial job. So it looks like he's doing that house there, the floors and everything. Mm. You just can't see that tattoo there, you know what I mean? That's his sister selling. I wonder if she's sold it yet. That's his family, I should imagine. Where is he? Is that is. No, there he is. There he is. But your family love you, mate, don't they? You're not very tall. He's only, he's only very, he's really short. Oh, yeah, yeah you can see that there. And that was June 2023.
It looks like one of these really nice family man sort of thing. Mm. Right, but that's, his, that's one of his many Facebook accounts. That one. And this is the most recent one, 6th of January. I think this must be it because that's a little boy. There it is. Yeah, so that is a that's a never name, that's a KB. And the name is Virginia Bow. Uh, as soon as all you put a comment upon this. This was 8th of December, 7th of January. The level of leave me the. the and then I'm trying to get to. Who's chief of January? Twenty sixth um, family, uh, February, um, January. So who's she trying to raise from her life? Hmm. And that was October 2023, she was sober. That means drug free, whatever. So what changed? Now when Elijah smiles, now this is her, the mother, in September 2023. When Elijah smiles, it warms my heart. I often wonder how something so filled with light and love could come from something so dark, filled with rage and hatred. Wow. 
Here's my reminder that even though the darkest of times, we can protect our light and make something new of ourselves. Even when people expect you to continue down a path of darkness and self-destruction. It's okay to step into the light and turn your light around. It's not their faith in you that will keep you, keep you going. The faith you have in yourself. Thankful for every day I get to wake up in my kids by my side. Sleeping peacefully knowing they are safe. Thankful to be able to continue to grow each passing day. The hunger and love I have for, the, for life is nothing that I've experienced before. I just hope my babies know that I'm doing everything in my power to give them the best life possible. Let's see what comments are saying. Right. Uh, so happy you're safe and living a good life with your kids. I saw you went on vacation with them. Uh, so happy you're able to make memories with them. Where's this baby now? Where's this poor little soul? So that first one, 22 weeks ago. So what happened? In, from 22 weeks ago to now. My God. It is. It's, what happened? From 22 weeks ago to now. See, you got all these posts. Right? Feeling healthy and happy, sober looks good on me. 12th of October. And I believe that the little girl who has autism. Tattoo, but I don't like. I I can't have tattoos. It's the sort of needles. You know what I mean, everything looks good. Twenty nine of November. Yeah, it's of December. No, I'm for January. Then look how dark it goes. You know what I mean? But yes, yeah, she shared a comment on his page. Um, six weeks ago. Yeah, apparently... This guy only came into her life, mysteriously came into her life three weeks ago. Yeah, we all believe that, don't we? No, it doesn't... What happened for everything just to start falling apart? Do you think it was when he came into her life that things started falling apart again for her? Because it seems like she seems so happy with her kids. Then all of a sudden, everything goes dark on her page. Oh, what else have we got here? It's not two rivers. What's this? Oh, yeah, this one. No. No. This is a page for Elijah. Now, I've seen this picture, but they had the little girl's face took out. Look there. Okay, I'd say it's about what? 18 months? 
She was happy. It just doesn't make sense why well, she was leaving with a guy who, who between them, between him and her husband, trafficked her out or sold her to traffickers. Does it make sense? Right, Wisconsin Circuit Court access. Then with this. Hmm. Sorry, I didn't think it was. What's this? What this? Uh, oh, some of his um, criminal records. Hmm, let's have a look. Jimmy Fu was found guilty of child abuse, high probability, great harm at A class A. Class F felony, Wisconsin. Statute 948.03, brackets 2, close brackets, open brackets, C, close brackets. Right, Jimmy Fu was found guilty of process processing firearms, convicted felony, a Class G felony. Hmm. Jimmy Fu was found guilty of battery, battery, modifiers, domestic abuse. A class A misdemeanor. Jimmy Fu was found guilty of disorderly conduct. A class B misdemeanor. Jimmy Fu was found guilty of possession with intent. A class F felony. Wisconsin statute. Jimmy Fu was found guilty of possession of meth. 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 I can't say. Meth. Meth. Ampestatine. I can't say the word. Read it. A class one felony. Can't get my tongue around that one. Right? Now that's just a few. You leave your son with someone like that. Good one. You know, I said Mother of the Year went to. Who was he? Who was it I said Mother of the Year went to the other day? I can't remember. But I'll take it back. The mother of the year goes to this woman. Because she only knew what Jimmy Fu um Jim, Jimmy or Jamie Fang was, how he treated children, what his disciplines were. She knew and she still left her son with him. That's why I don't think she took him there on the 21st. I think he was there before. Right? And I think it was the 21st she went to go and pick him up again. At 11 o'clock. And found he wasn't there. So I don't think she went there on the on the 21st or the 20th the day he went missing with him. I think she, he was there a good four or five days before. And it was on that day he went missing that she actually went back to get him and he wasn't there. So in which case she alerted the police 
in which case he had plenty of time to get me the body. Because we don't really know when he went missing then, do we? You see, the thing is, if she talks out against him, there's other group members that will come for her. Mm -hmm. hey, let's have a look. Let's have a look. What is Anthony Lee? No, that is Uncle. What's this one? Okay, I am an uncle of two large. I want to thank everyone of you for taking your time to have search today. My family was at two rivers searching today, too. They were watching the search around the apartment, and someone said to please find some clothing in the jump stack. I'm asking for everyone to please check their jumpsuits around the area. So, you know, well, hold on. Yeah, I'm going to have something else I want to talk to you about. Um, so we know this here, George and James. Make it make sense, please, because we can't make sense of it. He was in her life seven years ago. She got she commented on his perhaps she did get away from him and then she's seen his name come up on Facebook and she commented on his post six weeks ago. So how could he mysteriously mysteriously come into her life three weeks ago? No, she knew him before then. Oh, what? So, I'm not too worried about the parents of Tina. You know what I mean? I'm not. You can't drag them into this. You can't drag them into something that their daughter doing. You can't. Not fair. A lot of people are, I've been reading as well are saying they didn't receive the Amber Alert and they live in the area and they never received that Amber Alert. It's not wrong. That information came from the court, Lauren Gibbs. Came from the court, and it's not yours. I I thought I, I misheard, and I was going to go back over it. But then I got distracted and was talking about something else and forgot. But I didn't miss her. She did. She would send them back. Let's just what the price says. Well, in the court today at the bail hearing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, oh, yes, there were those, wasn't there? I wanted to show. Maybe I see him. No. 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 Well, you know, I'm not going to be able to find it now, am I? Uh, what's that? I'm on the Facebook pages. I'm here. Mm. Yes. 
Uh, I will read this out because this is from the court on Friday. So if anyone is watching on replay and hasn't seen my last one, I'll put the link in the description. But this is literally what happened. What was said in the call. Can I share this tab? Yeah. Most share it. Okay. Ha Katrina Ball, state asked for fifteen K cash bail and conditions of bail to be no contact with persons under eighteen years of age and no contact with the co defendant Jesse Bank. The judge stated that the probable cause was already found and signed off on. She stated that the charge for Katrina, Katrina is party to child neglect. She says that Katrina intentionally sent the child to the resident, Jesse Bank, for discipline purposes and was aware of the methods Jesse used for discipline as well as a lack of care. The judge also states that Katrina has lied about her whereabouts during certain times over the past week. Well, no, the judge didn't say that. The prosecutor said it. The judge then stated that there were victims that wanted to speak up about the bail. A woman came forward to say that they don't want bail to be given because these two, Katrina and Jesse, were the last people to see Elijah and they want to make sure they are available for questioning. They also asked that if bail is set, that an additional condition of no contact with the victim's family be given as well. Right? And now in all this day, they all set, give bail. They all put a bail up. But depending on the case, they put it up so high that like, they know they're not going to be able to bail out. The attorney stated that, that Katrina does not have any cash with which to bail, post bail. Whoop, whoop. And has no assets to use. Yes. She'll sit there then. She said that even though she doesn't live in Manitoba County, she does live in the state of Wisconsin and that the court should take that into consideration. Why? Why? She can jump bail. No. The judge then stated that even though this, is, this particular case may be pulling at everyone's heartstrings, the only charge so far is party child neglect, which is true. Which is true. It's the only charge so far. Right? So they have to base bail, bail on that. She said other charges may be added, but right now it's only with the one charge. She stated mm. that Katrina was Katrina was not present when the child went missing and said she has no has to take other things into consideration, such as the person's ability to abide by the conditions, such as posting bail. Hmm. Judge set the cash bail at 15k and state that while it is a substantial amount, it's appropriate. Appropriate. She also stated, also, pardon me, she's also not allowed to have contact with any persons under the age of 18 and is not allowed to have contact with confident co-defendant confident co-defendant jesse vang the next hearing will be monday february the 26th that one day i'll be there i'm gone i'll be there i will be doing a live but and i'll find out i'm going to write that down so that i can get the right time Wisconsin 130. All right. 1 30 pm. And I'll I'll know then when it is UK time. Because I'll just find out how many hours it is between one. So the next hearing will be 
On Monday, February the 26th at 1.30, branch 3. Right? That was Katrina. This is Jesse Vang. Jesse Vang has... Oh, God. I'm not doing it. No. Put that down there. Hold on. Jesse Vang has been charged with child neglect. There's probable, probable cause for him as well that has already been signed up on. He's on a federal detainer under federal supervision. And why is that? Because he's part of a blood gang, right? Who do drugs, prostitution, trafficking, anything else? Um, can't think of anything else right now. Perhaps someone could tell me a few more things I do. It was stated that he was a person who was using discipline tactics on Elijah, and Elijah was in his care when he went missing. There was concern about his appearance in court if he makes bail. <laughs> he would, he'd jump, he'd be gone. He has, was stated that he has a history of many previous charges, and there's a federal charge mentioned that caused him to get six years of jail time for that conviction, for which he is still under supervision for. So he didn't do the six years, he did so many years and then he's still under supervision for. He has a felony, he has felony bail jumping charges. Yes, he does. Um he had previously failed to appear and did not return to court for a year. They continued to read off previous charges, some of which were drug charges, battery, CA, and fleeing and an officer. He has been incarcerated multiple times and has absconded three separate times. He has a family in Wisconsin, Minnesota, and California. Which she believes make, makes him more of a flight risk. Oh, yeah. They added, um, they added that they would like no contact with co defending to also be a condition of bail, as well as no consumption of alcohol. Right? It was stated federal supervision is sim similar to what would be probation in the state of Wisconsin. Yes, we know. And I think he had a hearing for earlier. And I think he had a hearing for that earlier today, but they're not aware of the outcome. The judge asked if any of the victims wanted to speak about his bail, bail for him. But no one came forward. Ha! You're on your own, mate. The attorney stated that he's under federal supervision, so he won't be going anywhere. Whoop, whoop. She thinks he won't be released because of the federal supervision and then asked for a lower cash. That was his attorney. Right? Won't be released because of federal supervision. And then asked for a lower cash bond. Yeah, right. The judge stated... She always set a precedent by setting so by setting Katrina's bail to 15k to state that Jess was the one who was present and he would be responsible for the child being missing and the lack of care. Hold on. Set bond for 20k. Stated he has a greater ability to flee and not appear. Oh yeah, he'd be gone. He'd walk out them court doors and like. First car, first plane, whatever, it'd be gone. It's part of a blood group, blood gang. So he'd go, they'd send him to get into one of them, wouldn't they? Stated he has a great ability to flee. Conditions of bail, absolute sobriety. 
no use of drugs or alcohol, no contact with any person under the age of 18, and no contact with co-defendant Katrina Boy. Next hearing, Monday the 5th, February the 26th, 1.30, Branch 3. So that is what was said and everything. All right. And he was the one who was supposed to be in care of that little boy because the mother took him there. And I don't think she took him there that day. I think she, he had that little boy several days. And it just happened that the day she was going back to pick him up. Or perhaps he went missing or something had happened and that's when he found the mother and the mother come over. You know what I mean? I think that's what happened. I think something's happened while he was in his care. He's found the mother and the mother's had to come over. But look. Look at this beautiful little face. It's just smiles. Look at him. Um, what was this? Oh yeah. I don't like the fact that it's gone. Yeah, here. Look at that. She loved that kid. That's past tense. Why would you say that? You wouldn't you say she loves, loves that child. As in present. But loved. It's like I could say I loved my mum and dad. Because it's past tense because they're not with me no more. I love them. I still love them. Even though they're not with me. But that is past tense. Look at the words he used. We know this is. I want to see the receipts. I have all the texts from Trina in the last month. She never once said that she wanted him to discipline Elijah. She wanted him to be a positive male role model. Jimmy is in prison for trying to kill Trina and Eleanor. Jimmy and Jesse sold Trina into sex trafficking seven years ago. And yet she just he just walked into her life, mysteriously came back into her life three weeks ago, whereas we know she was commenting on a post of his six weeks ago. And for you to tell us to wake up, I think George and James, get the SHIT out of your eyes, get the blinkers off. Whatever you have to do, because this is not making sense. This is not making sense. Actually, should I write a comment? I think I will. I will. I'm going to put a comment up. It does not make sense. Please, Matt, do. Please show us receipts. That's about that one. Otherwise, you should wake up. and smell the coffee. And not the the S the state in here. I know I'm not one of those uh, people warriors You know what I mean? I'm not. But this, 
does not make sense and I want him to make sense. And he's telling her to wake up and not trust the police. The police are there to help her. The police want to find her son. They're not twisting everything. They know that little boy went there. She she said that herself. So please wake up and smile the coffee, not the BS you're giving us. Uh, uh, what's this? Oh right, hold on. Uh post my bum. What's that for? This was back in when. Let me see if I can zoom in somewhere. This is four of seven. Well, where's the first three pages? The fourth to twelve, seventeen. That's going back to twenty seventeen. You know what I mean? I'm not interested in what like is wrong. Oh, God, so much. This is just, oh, yeah. We've read that one. There's just so much out there. But like I said, you will have people coming out and making up false stories, right, that aren't true. Like that video. I'm not saying this video is false. I'm just saying it's not Elijah. Yeah, there's two aliases. Jimmy Vu and Jimmy Fu. You know what I mean? But hold on. You know, tattoo on his neck there. So when was this taken? Is it definitely there's definitely no tattoo. No tattoo that I can see of. No, so when was this taken? Hold on. <coughs> uh, last year, a year ago, that photo was taken a year ago, and he hadn't got that gang tattoo on his neck then. The first of the fifth, 2023. So that that's to me, it's the 5th of January, 2023. We always say the date first and then the month. We well, use say the month first and then the date. So it throws me some time thing I look at it and I have to say, no, it's the month first and then the date. So that was last year, just over a year ago, and he has no tattoo there. So when did you get that tattoo? Um uh, this one. Right, so I just can't understand what happened from this and all this. Right? She's fine everything seemed look good on her page, you know what I mean? And then all of a sudden, she went sort of like, started to go a bit dark and a bit, 
I don't want to be here sort of thing. I want to be here. I don't want to be here. I want to be there. So something changed. And I think it was when she met, when that Jimmy flew. Uh, that's when that Jimmy Vu come back on the scenes. Look at this. My, right? My three, five and fourteen year old son put out toys for Elijah so he can feel the love and hope we have that he comes home. I can I can say I can say he's with you, Elijah. You know what I mean? Sweet is that. That's fine. Yeah, we've seen that, didn't we? Yeah, we've seen that. Right, again, missing Elijah Vu. Last scene, 2nd, 20th, 2024 at 8am, near 3, 900 Mishcott Road in Two Rivers. Clothing, grey sweatpants, long sleeve, dark coloured shirt and red and green dinosaur slip-on shoes. Identifiers, age 3, height 3, foot, weight 35 to 40 pounds, Hair sandy, eyes brown. Beautiful little boy. And those vile creatures are going to come I'm going to join this group because then I can keep it to date with me. What's this one here? No, I'm sorry. That bit there. The woman goes, This is kind of confusing. It was. The KK class saw him at 18, but didn't report him. Or realise he's missing till three hours later, which it was confusing at first. It was real because I kept saying, How can you not realise a three year old's not in your home? They're not quiet unless they're sleeping, they're not quiet, right? And then, but someone's gone, Or caretaker thought he was sleeping or playing in another room. No, you check on that child. You go check. Why is he quite so quiet? I was playing. I was sleeping. You know what I mean? That's why it's so confusing because there wasn't. The police never gave any facts out. They didn't give out straight away that the house that he was disappeared from was not his home right and then they were saying it was the mother and the boyfriend got arrested but it wasn't the mother and boyfriend it was the mother and acquaintance someone she knew and it was this guy she used to send her son to now i think her son was at his for a good week before he went missing and i think something happened on that morning He's found the mother to get a book bucket over. She's come over and they've had to get rid of that child before phoning the police. And that's where the three hours goes, comes and goes. You know what I mean? Because I really think that guy done something to this little boy. I leave them. Ah. Oh. More. You know what I mean? How cute.
Так, нормально, нормально. Офис. Ай. Я перестал. Yeah, that was all that was on that page as well, which I think we have covered. Yeah, because receipts, give us receipts, Jordan James. I want to see those text messages because I just don't want to see those. I can look at the wording used in those text messages and try and figure out a lot more than what you have because you, what you're typing can you see is BS. I've never seen a case of set this puppy this bad before. Oh did you have you not been watching the um mm. God my memory's crap. Have you not been watching the uh Harmony and Mon Montgomery one or the um or the Cunningham? Because them two really got the public world, really got the public world up. And apparently, from what I've heard, I heard them this morning, that uh, he got beat up in prison. Or he's been beat up in prison. But there's a way he can get out of not turning up for the sentencing. And that is by saying he's not feeling well. If he says he's not feeling well, he don't feel well, and all this stuff, they don't have to bring him. They won't bring him. Well, we was going to look at some um, areas, weren't we? Yeah, we'll have a quick look at some Google Maps. Right, Google Maps. Because there's just a few areas I wanted to go on to. To show you. Right, I've got a meeting down as well. I did write these down so that I'd know where I was. Right, Google Maps. Oh, no, take it off him. Oh, God. Okay. Um, two rivers. Oh, come on. Two rivers, we're going to your side. What, get off that one. Give <gasps> my dress out of my there, nearly. Right. Now, as I've pointed out before, this is two rivers, mainly because it gets the name from the West Twin, West Twin River, East Twin River, both join up to go right into what's this like called? Lake Michigan. I've heard a lot about that as well. Right, so it goes out there. Now, from what I know, police have been searching around here. But the one place I want to go to is... Okay, let's just point it now. So we go to... Fancy Highway, 91. <coughs> Uh, well, I'm just going to give you this a minute. Right, now, I need to get this, uh, is that the wrong one? Come on.
Hmm. 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 Right, now round down, as I've seen earlier, there it is, hello, it is, it's, I'm going to go into it here. I'll go into the street view. Right, okay, this is show type, right? There we have show And we are going to go over here. You two behave. Um. <coughs> now, let's go up here because I want to look at something. Look at that. Is that like a dam or um, a weir? Not a weir, like a, a little... I don't know. It's like a little dam, isn't it, sort of thing? Yeah? Well, from what I understand, please, have been circling down here. So we're going to come back out again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, apparently the police have been searching. Mm. Uh, I'm going to go to the river down here then. Uh, but but uh, it's around there the police have been looking right now let's come back out Get all this off. Right. So, what's there? The houses. Uh, uh, yeah, it's houses, isn't it? So that was like a, what I was looking at there. It was like a driveway to these houses. Oh, over here. And where's the river? Ah. That's it. There's the river. So it's like a, a weird sort of dam show on Soto Lake there, right? And then that goes down here. And apparently the police were all round here. 
mind. Think if I can get empty. Just looking at me. No, it's not gonna let me. Because it isn't on Google, it isn't mapped out yet, it's just an aerial photo. So there was nothing all around there, but look at this. Right, you've got all this. This is West Wing River. And it amazes me how it looks so, so like narrow. Yeah? And all of a sudden it breaks out into this big area. And then... And where does he leave? I know it wasn't... It, it didn't say very far from where we lived. It's about... A mile or so to there from where he was living. I think that's a main road. Uh, yeah. So he was living here. No, he was living here. And the police, hold on, let's see if I can put a little marker. All right. No, um, put a little marker. Right from there. No, I'm going to do I just want to put a little marker there so that I can... How do you put markers in? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. But that's where he lives. Right? Put the mark back again. It's like when I was in opening, when I was in out. Keep my mouth there when I was in out. Right? And they've been looking, so he's there, right? And they've been looking at somewhere, where was it then? Somewhere around here. That's it, here. And I was looking here. You know, it may look a distance, but it's literally up one road and along the main road and then down these little side roads here. It's two roads, maybe, sort of. It won't take anyone longer in a car to get there. Right? Um. And then, but him say like, he lived here. No. Yeah. Look how close he is there to the river. You know what I mean? But, and, Okay, it's probably a bit hard there. There is people about around there, right? But if you go up that road, this road there, oh my God, come back down, come back down, come back down, come back down. See, he, he was here. If you go up this road to here, 
à lũng thế em rồi thiệp cái viên kỹ cái viên à này thế hả sẽ chơi con spacing club chơi anh lại về trái em đi sợ vô cho em trái nè anh thế sẽ biết bạn but I just think there's a lot of twists and turns in this river and this to me reminds me of like sandbanks sort of things that are in the river and the water's going around it and pushing the sand up to you know what I mean so it slows the river down the water down so I'd like to know how deep it is. And look, 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 look. A body, it's got to come from there, wherever you could have put it, if you put it in there, or if you went up here somewhere, right, and put it in. You know what I mean? Or even if you went up here. Let's have a look down here. Right, that looks quite, is that quite steep? But if you look at that river, it's twisting, narrows, right? You got that, you got that like weir, like Soto Lake, you got that waterfall weir, dam area. The buggy's got to, so if you put it in here, the buggy's got to get over there, go under the bridge, go past this, not get caught up on any of this because it's goes narrow. Then it widens, and it can't get caught up on any of these side bits. Can't get caught up on any sandbanks on the on there. Right, buggy can get caught up on anything going around bends. Right, pulling out to drift it into there. But that looks like someone's house, so I think I'm sure they were gonna find a buggy in there if they had. But it's gotta go all the way down here. Keep going. But even if it went in here. Say so deciding, you know, I'm not going all the way down now, just do here. Right? Quite enough for going there. It's gotta come from there, up here, around there. I mean I've <coughs> Oh, good you know. My cats are back. I'm about to kill my cats. Oh. Oh, God. You two behave now. Right, you got to get all the way around these bends. And past these shallow areas because that look, reminds me of like the sandbanks in the water because you've got like little darker patches and the lighter patches so it reminds me of like sandbanks so you've got to get across there down here all the way down around these twists and turns and you've got some big ones so you've got to hit banks see yeah you can get caught up in areas like this right get round here get round this tight bend as well because that's quite narrow compared to the rest of the river right get round that one 
And then when this one, it goes narrow again there. It's wide, then narrow. Then widens out again. Then you've got to get around that thing. It's just so many twists and turns in this river. You know what I mean? And so many, like, shallow paths where you've got, like, the sand chip banks underneath. And look then, it goes narrow. It starts to go narrow again. Right? And down here. And I'm sorry, but there's been so much, many people out there searching all these areas and these areas. And you're not telling me people wouldn't have been looking out in their own back gardens like people who live here. Yeah? Right? Wouldn't be looking in the water where they live. Because I know I would be. But you've got all that, and then it goes narrow again, and narrow, and even narrow again. And then it's got to get around this bend where there's boats. Right, it's a harbour area for boats. So he's got to get past all that. Shush! Get past all this, go past all these boats, all these little nooks and crannies here which you could just log into. Right? And then. Oh yeah, and then the body meets up with the East Twin River. Goes down here. East Twin River. All the way down. All the way down. There. There's our blooming up. I had a case we had a case here in the UK not so long ago, last year. Well, and, okay, we're talking an adult and we're only talking a child here. But this river was twists and turns. Twists and turns, sandbanks, everything. Wide paths, narrow paths, fast running paths, slow walk, slow running paths. Now, I can assure you, when the river meets from here to here, that water's going to be coming in pretty fast when it meets up. Look, look at the different colours of the water. And that's like a brown. Because it brings along a lot of uh, the sand off the bank. This one's... And this one's even worse. Look at it. Look how shallow it is in parts. You know what I mean? It would get caught up. So even if you went to this side of the river and thought, I'll put it in this side. That body, poor body, will get caught up on all these, could get caught up on any of these sandbanks. Look how it twists and turns. Rivers like this. It's very hard, I think, for bodies to float down and not be seen and not get caught up on something. So... Yeah, okay, Lake Michigan is a big, big river. You know what I mean? But EcuSearch have got the equipment to do that. You know what I mean? And they're doing sections, work it off in sections or whatever they do it. But they've got the equipment to hit the bottom of that river and hit the sides. They've got the experienced divers to go in. So, I just think it's asking a lot. We're going to find, if we find this body, right, then I can get back to where I was. 
Okay. Yeah. Is this it? No, that one is. Two rib heads. No. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, no. It's a But I just think that river is is a lot to get a body to float down and not be seen and not get caught up on the sandbanks, the low areas of the river. Because when there's low areas, the water will run slower. And then goes into the higher areas so the water will start running quicker again but if they're going to find him i think it'll be in them in that water somewhere and if they've got the right people out there searching with the right boat with the correct equipment the correct boats and the divers who can go in and know what they're looking for they'll find him in the water I really do believe. I'll be shocked if he if he's found anywhere out. I will be shocked if he's found your life. I'll be grateful he's found your life. I'll be happy and over the moon. I really would. But uh, it's not looking good, and I have to I have to be realistic with myself because if I keep thinking, "Oh, he's going, he's going to be found, he's going to be found," I'm hoping he's found. I'm hoping. That's all I will say, so I'm hoping he's fine. And will not say he will be fine. I'm hoping he's fine. Because then when if he does come back where he's not fine, well he is fine but not alive, then my hopes aren't dashed. It's when I get my hopes built up and then I think, you know what, I can't do this no more. I can't deal with children no more. And I've only just started, so I won't get my hopes built up. I have to set my safe boundaries. And I knew from day one, when I first heard about this little boy, with those three hours missing from 8 to 11, something wasn't right. And it wasn't. And I seriously believe that little boy was in that house from the anything from the 16th onwards. And something happened that day, that morning, something happened. Perhaps he did take his daughter to school, like he said, and then come back. How do we know that while he wasn't out there, he's probably dead? You know what I mean? The little girl's not going to say nothing. That's her daddy. She's not going to say anything. So I hope to God it didn't happen while, if his daughter was there, I hope to God... It didn't happen while she was there. Because that's not fair to put that on a little girl. Really isn't. And you've seen the photos of his little girl. His son and his little girl. Yeah, years ago, so they're a bit older now. But it's not fair to put that on anyone. Because they love, the love they have for their parents is unconditional. But to put a condition on a child to say, look, you can't tell them what happened, that isn't fair. That is not fair. So I hope he, in a way, he was wrong in what he said. I hope he did lie about taking his daughter to school. Because if anything happened to that little boy, it had to have happened, hopefully, after he took her to school and not while she was there. Because that is not fair. You know what I mean? So, and that's probably why the last time I saw him at 8am, because he's taking his daughter to school. 
But I think something happened that day and that's when he found the mother and got the mother over there. Anyway, I've been on here nearly three hours. I think I made myself another coffee, but my throat is getting a bit sore now and horsey. So I'm going to leave it there, and if you have any more new information come on, believe me, I will be on live. There will be given no t notice. There will be no notice of me running on if I go on live. If any new news comes out, it will be automatic on live. No introduction, just directly onto live. So keep an eye out. I will be back if anything comes about it. I have got other cases I've got to look into and talk about. About Chad Dorman. So if nothing new comes out today, I might do him tonight. Get that one done and out the way. Because his case is coming up soon. And um, Eleanor, little Eleanor. I want to talk about her, but I can do that to tomorrow sometime. After the court case again. After this. So we'll see what happens tomorrow at court tomorrow. But if anything happens new tonight, I'll be back on. I'll be back on anyway because I, I want to do me Chad Dorman. Talk about him. His last appearance in court. In court. It's about a week ago now. But I've been putting it up and putting it up because this case, this case come on. And I thought, no, this little girl, this, this little boy needs the intention first. Let's get his name and his picture out there. Let's out find this little boy. Chad Dorman is going nowhere. He's sitting in, pra in jail, in prison. He's going nowhere. Right? So, and now, another one who's sitting in jail is harming his dad. Throwing the key and locking it away. Lock him up and throw the key away. Anyway, so I'll do the Chad Dorman later. You know, six o'clock, so it's dinner time for me, so I'll have something to eat. Um, I'll be on about nine o'clock tonight, nine, ten o'clock. No, because Chad Dorman's four hours long, isn't he? I'll do Chad Dorman tomorrow, after the court one. After this one being to court, I'll do the Chad Dorman tomorrow. So I'm having an evening off. Unless anything happens, I'm having an evening off. And I'll see you all tomorrow. So anyone watching on Catch Up, on Replay, there'll be, in the description, there'll be the links to all the other lives I've done. So you can catch up on there. So thank you again for being here today. Have a good day. Bye.